So I'm coming off a great Christmas. If anyone's from a big family, you might have the system we have. We don't get every sibling this, uh, a gift. We pick one name, give one sibling a gift. And it worked out perfect last winter. I picked my oldest brother. And I'll ask you, what do you think's a good present for someone who owes you money? <laughs> I got him a gift certificate to me. felt real good. I go, there you go, Mark. Remember that 400 you owe me? It's down to 380. Happy holidays. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I love the holidays, though, man. I love the Anything with the little kids, I always, I always like. Now, I've only been a father for two Christmases, but I've been an uncle for a long time. That's a sweet gig, too. That's, that's why I tell a lot of young people, I go, don't let anyone pressure you to have children. But you should pressure your siblings to make something. <laughs> because you can't beat aunt or uncle, it's the greatest, right? Because if you have kids, you have to love them all unconditionally. As an uncle, you pick your favorite. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's the best part of Christmas. How come you didn't get a Christmas present? Because you're hard to be around. That's why you didn't get a Christmas present. No, I'm not cheap. I bought your sister a pony. Look in the backyard. I got her a pony. I didn't think you guys would get behind that one. All right. A little, you guys are a little meaner than I thought here in Utah. Right? <laughs> hey, you know what holidays really changed in my, in my lifetime? Culturally, Easter. Because my nieces and nephews, they, they open pre These kids expect presents for Easter. I go, oh, times have changed, man. When I was a kid, my father didn't even color the Easter eggs. He just bought brown eggs. <laughs> And he hit them in the same spot every year, behind the mayonnaise in the fridge. That was he goes, you found them good, make me an omelet. Okay, I got you. I got you, Pops. I got you, Pops. My wife is Jewish, and people, I don't, you know, that's not as, yeah, it used to be a bigger deal. People don't care as much. I get this question once in a while. People go, hey, your wife's Jewish, huh? Is she real religious? I go, uh, apparently not. She married me. <laughs> in fact, I'm a better Jew than her. I married a Jew, and she can't say that. See how that works? And then I made two more Jews. I'm, for an Irish kid, I, I'm pretty, that's pretty impressive. He's a mediocre Catholic, now I'm a good Jew. It's pretty exciting, I gotta be honest with you. But people do tell me with, with my daughters, they go, you know, your, you know, your daughters are Jewish. I go, of course, I go, they're, they're half Jewish. They go, no, 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 they're all Jewish. I go, well, that's pretty cool. You know, when they get older, people can ask their heritage. What am I? All Jewish. Plus half Irish. It'll be great on job interviews. You need someone to give 150%, you're looking at it right here. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy. Dry Bar Comedy, funny for everyone.